Thank you. Tom, I agree. Uh, you and, and Engel, I mean, everybody should work on stories that look like they sh they're worth looking mm -hmm. into, and we should continue to do so. And when you can triple source it and you have evidence, then you have a story. Right now, there's no story here. And I think the people who are going with it at this point, and even if we continue this conversation, we're a part of it, but the two outlets that are actually going with this and releasing it are continuing to make the same mistakes that they have made in the run-up to this election which is to let their bias get in the way of actually finding out what facts are and putting them out there. This is, the whole thing has felt wrong from the beginning of this show. Well, um, I, the question Willie asked was a good question, though. I, I do believe that if there were no two-page summary, I think he could have said that. Right. right. I don't think he, you know, it's a felony to which say it, Which is, which it is was interesting a, because he can say that right. this is the first time he heard about it was last night. Uh -huh. First time he knew about any of this was last night. He also said he was there in the meeting. Mm -hmm. But the question is, yeah. if you were there in the meeting and you were not given something, I think you would not be violating any laws by saying I was never given. I was anything. never given that. Right. I don't right. think that would be a violation. I think I right. think that's the inconsistency mm -hmm. yeah. right here because yeah. he was able to say we were not told about it. Right. But he did not say, right. I never read it. You left the possibility that there was a two-page two distillation of something that it's, didn't it's, have a lot of this information in it that was presented. He left that open, this, we don't know. This was around in a tertiary way for so long, it's hard for me to believe that the Trump campaign had not heard these stories. As well.